Hey, so we've just launched the super, super early access to Keystatic, and I thought I'd just take you through the onboarding process by myself going through the website and setting up a new project. Let's do it. All right, so here's the announcement tweet I've made. Go like it and share it. And if we click on the link, we're going to be taken to the new Keystatic website. So worth noting, this is super early access. Uh, it's going to be great. We're working on it now, but this is really much in constructions right now. Uh, but we have prepared a few templates to start with. You can start with a blank canvas, where which gives you nothing but a Keystatic backend with a blog or a post collection. We have this marketing landing page, a blog, and we're also working on some more examples. But for now, let's try the marketing template. Uh, I've built this personally, so I'm going to select it. You can see that it's asking for a couple of details. You do not have to fill this. It helps us uh, do some research and understand who uses Keystatic, how we can make it better. But if you want to skip all this, you can uh, continue without any fields. We're not going to block you from doing so. All right, so you can see it's taken me to the Vercel dashboard. Uh, you don't need to use Vercel to use Keystatic, but we're leveraging this to have a really nice onboarding process where we can automate some of the repo creation, GitHub app creation. So the first step uh, in my Simon Swiss GitHub repository account is to create a new repo. I'll call it Keystatic Launch Demo. And I'll hit Create. Uh, so now we want to add the Keystatic integration. Uh, so click Add. Pretty straightforward. And while it's loading, I'm going to get my phone out because I'm going to need an uh, authenticator. <laughs> Give me one sec. So I've just authenticated with GitHub because uh, Keystatic is going to need a GitHub app that allows it to communicate with GitHub to make pull requests and changes as you change the content in Keystatic. So let's mirror the name here, Keystatic Launch Demo. And I'll create the app. Uh, once again, I'm getting redirected. I might go back to the Vercel dashboard and you can see that now uh, this is deploying my site. So let's patiently wait for a little bit. Uh, I might put you a little waiting music. Show up. Look at this! Woohoo! Clap your hands. No, not that one. This one. All right, so without doing anything, it redirected me to install the app because we've created it, but we need to now connect it with uh, the project and the repo. Uh, so I'm going to say yes here. Uh, I don't care about other projects in my account having access, but if you want to only select a specific one, you can look for key static. We called it a launch demo. You can see I have a few other. So you could do it like this to make sure that just this project has access but you can also give access to all if it feels safe to you. And here I am in the key static dashboard. So what's going on? You can see branches here. There's only one branch, the main branch. And it looks like we have a collection of seven testimonials and then a singleton. So if I go in testimonials, you can see we have all these testimonials. Hey, look, I know Simon Swiss. So we have seven of them, and then we have this landing page singleton, which is basically copy for the landing page, which is not a repeating thing like a testimonial. So if I look at the URL, uh, ignore all my tabs open, you can see that I am on slash key static. And all the slash key static routes will be where the admin UI for key static lives. But if I go to the root path, we should see the front end. So let's check it out. And yep, there it is. So if I scroll down, you'll see that this is a fairly nicely, uh, I'm patting myself on the back now, design template. And you will see these testimonials here. Uh, remember, we saw seven, yeah? So there's one here. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, including uh, the one that I showed you. Let's have some fun here. I'm going to open the slash key static page in another tab. So now I can switch between the admin UI and the site. Um, so let's do something here. Uh, let's change it to, I really uh, like the git base CMS. So you can see it's unsaved until I save it. Now I'm on the main branch. So when I saved just then, if I go to Vercel, you can see that it should have triggered 
a new deployment. Yep, you can see here this deployment that just started and it's about updating the Anna testimonial. So this happens because we in the main branch, right? So we basically directly committing to production when we save the changes. And this might be what you want if you work by yourself, but you might also want some workflows where people do a draft and then it gets previewed and reviewed and then merged into the main branch. So let's have a look now, the deployment has finished. So if I refresh the page here and I scroll down to the testimonial, you can see the text has changed to really. So it's working. We've just updated the content on the main branch in the repo. And let me show you what happens if you work on a different branch. So here I've currently only have the main branch because this is a new project, but I can create a new branch. Let's call it draft post. And I just realized post is a terrible name because we have testimonials in this project, not posts, but whatever. So now we are in this draft post, right? So if I go in testimonials and I add a new one, let's call the author launch day. Woo hoo. This is superb. Uh, this is not featured launch day. Let's have an avatar as well. This is dangerous now when I start showing my file system. Uh, what can we use here without getting in trouble? <laughs> I don't know. What is this one? Yay, me with a cat on the shoulder. That's a good one. All right, so now let's create this post. If I go to the dashboard, there is eight entries, including one change, but this is the draft branch. If I switch to main here, there's still only seven entries. If I look at the deployments, it's deploying a preview on the draft post branch. How cool is that? And if you really don't believe me and you want to check what's happening, let's go on the branch on GitHub. And you can see that now we have this draft post branch. Let's say we prepare a pull request. You should see the new testimonial added. Here's the picture and here's the YAML file with all the data. So you'll work with YAML, JSON, Markdown, Markdoc, depending on the context and your settings. Uh, but this shows you that uh, it's happening for real. So here I'm in draft post. This dropdown will have a create pull request. And if I click this, it's going to take me just where I was before, creates a new pull request with the update uh, testimonial, the name of the slug that we've used. Let's create that pull request. And from there, it's super easy to review the changes and merge it. So I'm going to merge this into main, bang. So now you already know it, uh, there is a deployment happening behind the scenes. Uh, and if I refresh this page, we now have eight entries, there's no more changes. And if I go to the main branch, it also has eight entries with no changes. So the two branches are in sync. And if we go visit uh, the page again, and I refresh, assuming that the deployment to production has finished, here it is, here's me and my cat. <laughs> and you can see the new testimonial in place. And so we've looked at the testimonials. And if we look at the other thing, the singleton landing page, we have the hero, intro text, footer, and footer text. So if I change this, the future of payments, let me show you one more time at the top. This is this headline here. Let's change that to the present of key static. And because I am in the main branch, it's deploying automatically to production. All right, so I think that we are ready. So let's go back, refresh the page, and the present of key static is there. This is cool, hey? So right now we set up remotely on Vercel, it's deployed. Anyone that has a GitHub account then that you can grant access to can contribute to this site. I'll make another video where I clone the repo locally so I can show you the dev workflow locally and how to configure the fields in Keystatic and do all the good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.